Good evening, everyone. It's Travis with CoCab, watch collectors of California and beyond with another full watch review. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the Timeless HMS 003 Gold. Absolutely gorgeous watch. This is from the Timeless Company, uh, which debuted the winter of 2020 from uh, Mile Oberkampf, is the, the brand owner. He did come out with the HMS 001 and 002, uh, which were both the first first version. I did review one of those a little over a year ago, and now we have the updated uh, 003. And I really like, uh, like this watch. You can see the side plaque there with the HMS number 003. Uh, HMS, by the way, stands for hours, minutes, seconds, so a little bit of trivia there. This is a watch that's kind of, uh, I think they, they talk about it being neo-vintage, which I think is fairly accurate, has almost a hint of Art Deco in some of the, the numbers there, and then a little almost uh, steampunk vibe, which is uh, kind of cool. So CoCab reviews are a little bit different. The CoCab acronym stands for Characteristics, Operations, Cool and Unique Features, Accessibility, which is both availability and price, and then uh, brand offerings. And so we'll be looking at uh, all that together First of all, uh, some of the characteristics, this is a limited edition. There are only 40 of each type made. So you're unlikely to see someone else out in the wild with, with one of these uh, on your wrist. So some of the updates over the original model is now there's a little bridge over the open heart. You can see it right there. There's the light on it pretty good. Uh, and the timeless tag did go from the nine o'clock to the center there. And now you can see it's a little bit smaller and right underneath the, the 12, which I think looks a lot better. And then the leather strap on the last one was stitched, and uh, this one is non-stitched. A couple other little things, but those are the two uh, big things I noticed. The height on this is 13 millimeters. You can see kind of the a little bit of the dome on the top and the bottom, which is kind of cool. Weight is 101 grams as it sits here. Diameter is about 41.5 millimeters without the crown, about 45 millimeters with the crown, and uh, about 45.2 millimeters with the crown and tag there on the side, because that does stick out about 0.2 millimeters. Lug to lug, it's about 47.8 millimeters. It is water resistant to about 50 meters. It is Swiss made and comes with a two year guarantee. The crystal, we looked at that already, but we'll kind of look at it. There is a domed or convex sapphire crystal with AR coating. Beautiful view then of that incredible dial. That's probably one of the main, uh, I think, beautiful features of this watch is that 3D guilloché uh, finish produced by machine. It's just uh, gorgeous and it captures the light and you can see the light just playing as you move it around on there. And out in the sunlight, it's even better. It is just, just an amazing dial. One of the one of the nicest I've seen, quite honestly. Um, the other cool thing on the dial is it has a really kind of complex dial construction with a central aperture to reveal the the heart or the movement. And then also, I want to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and move the hour hand. Notice as I move the hour hand. You can see the center, which, cool enough, is actually the logo of the company. So it revolves at the same pace as that hourly hand, which I just think is really cool. So one of those neat features with this watch. Let's see. And then also, of course, we mentioned already the Timeless has the nameplate just under the 12 o'clock. Um, just a gorgeous layout on that dial, I think. The hands are very cool. Uh, if you look at them, they're all centrally positioned. The minute and the hour are very decorative, and they have that unique cutout aperture towards the end, which I think is really beautiful and very different. I don't think I've ever seen another watch with those uh, exact hands. And then the second hand is the polished steel, thin, straight line. And then, of course, right in the center, you can see the, the round black disc there that looks really cool. Moving to the outer part of the dial, you can see the chapter ring um, or the hour track, and it's matte black with, or, or matte white, I'm sorry, with black lettering. And around the outside of it, you can actually see like at the one o'clock is a five, the two o'clock a 10, 
and so on as you go around the dial. And so it's just a really nice looking chapter ring there, I think. There's also very small five minute markers integrated right into the track design, uh, very well executed. The numbers literally sit right on the edge of the beautiful dial. And it's kind of cool, it's in a radiant formation or orientation, I should say, radial orientation. And I love radial orientation, but the problem always is that the six ends up being upside down. Well, they solve that with this larger date window that takes the place of the six, and so you don't have to worry about an upside down six that looks like a nine. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, one of the more unique date windows I've seen, and, and it really came, was a great solution to that. Looking at the date window, it is at six o'clock. Um, tan background wheel with black numbers, and then it's got the large black frame, the circle frame. And then it now says HMS. It's a little bit hard to read. I'll see if we can get, get it to show there. Let me get a flashlight right on it. You might be able to see it in there. Uh, it's hard to read it there. I think you can kind of see it. It used to say date. That's one of the other updates on this is now it says HMS, which I thought was a pretty cool thing. This watch does not have loom. Uh, taking a look real quick at the bezel, you can see it's kind of a fine uh, sandblasted stainless steel. And one of the other cool unique things with this is the 12 dimples, one at each uh, five minute mark, which is kind of an interesting feature there. Case is a uh, stainless steel, circular brushed uh, satin finish, which is really nice looking. One of the things I love about this watch is just the, the nice integration of different um, finishes and features and metals and, and that type of thing. The um, bezel is fine sandblasting and it has polished details on the case, bezel, and lugs. You can also see at the lugs there, you got the framing of rose gold around each one of them, which looks amazing. And then if you look really close between the case and the case back and the case and the bezel, show you on both sides, is a nice polished disc, which is another one of those little features that kind of set this watch apart and help it really look gorgeous out there in the sun. Crown is in the three o'clock position. This is a really cool crown. You've got um, about 7.7 .7 millimeters, so it's a larger crown, which I like, great grip has about 20 grooves. It's in uh, about four millimeters out from the case. So, you know, just looking at that, uh, again, it's just super easy to, to wind. Uh, I like that very much. It's signed with the logo and has a rose gold center. Uh, the logo is unilateral, so as you wind it, it stays looking great the whole time. And it's basically made up of three parts. The center is a stainless steel, and then it has a black PVD coated exterior. And then right in the center is the rose gold. Uh, it does not screw down. It's just a, it just pops out. So no screw down. Um, and I do think the black PVD works really well when you look at the date window, the center of the hands and the timeless, timeless nameplate. It kind of all just ties it in and brings it together. I thought that was pretty cool. The, lug, the lugs are tubular and screwed in. And again, have that gorgeous trim of the rose gold kind of a nice upscale touch there um, they are attached to the the frame with the screws they are a 22 millimeter lug with just normal spring bars so you can change out straps if you want to whatever you want to do and again lug to lug is about 47.8 millimeters case back take a look at that that is engraved again with the logo right in the center and as you go around that, you'll see it says timeless, automatic, Swiss made, 50 millimeters water resistant, stainless steel, and it has a serial number. It does provide screw down access to the movement. And again, it is slightly concave, but a very comfortable watch to wear. The strap is calf leather. It is 22 millimeters at the lugs tapers down to about 20 millimeters at the buckle. It's colored to coordinate with the watch. Uh, neither side is strapped, or is signed, sorry. And uh, there's nine punched holes. I'll go ahead and open it here. And you can see for me to wear, I had to put it in the third hole. But even with that, it barely fits in the first keeper, 
let alone the second. My wrist is about eight and a quarter. Uh, so if you have a wrist bigger than that, it's going to be a little bit tight. Um, at this setting, it seemed to fit on my wrist okay, but it, it wouldn't fit much of a bigger wrist, I don't think. So the keepers look great. They're about eight millimeters wide. Um, and then, of course, the buckle itself is the signed stainless steel deployant clasp. You can see the timeless right there. Very nice construction there. Go ahead and set this down. The packaging, take a look at that for a second, it has a nice finished cardboard box. One of the things I like about this box is that it's, it's elongated to fit the entire watch when the watch is laid out flat. Inside of the box is a nice leather pouch, and again, you can put the watch right inside of there. So very nicely done there. I think that they executed that uh, very well. So operations, the movement on this is the Swiss STP 111 automatic. Closest we can see to seeing inside of it is right through the open heart there in the front. Has 26 joules and about 44 hours of power reserve. Beats at about 28,800 vibrations per hour. Just make sure I'm good on that. There we go. And experiences that I had with it, the wearability, very comfortable. Stays in place, taking it on and off is very easy. The winding is very smooth, proper amount of tension. Uh, very, feels just very nice. Setting the time, uh, very smooth. And I'll show you, it's only about a fifth of a revolution before the hands engage. So that's nice. There's no wobble at all on that crown. Very well made. Setting the date is very smooth. Let's see if I can show you that. Uh, oops, went one too far. So you can see it just kind of clicks into place. So that's very nice. Um, what could be improved? I would say the strap could be a little bit longer. My wrists are big, but they're not abnormally so, and this barely fits, so it could be a little bit longer. And um, I'll just show you the inner part of the small side is starting to kind of um, buckle or whatever you'd call it a little bit. Nothing major, but just thought I'd point that out. And then nitpicking, you know, the date window uh, and the date, it is a little bit hard to read and it's just slightly off center. When you line it up with the line that is on there, it's just a little to the side, nothing bad. Honestly, you'd probably never notice if, if you weren't really, really looking for it. So cool and unique and what I love. You could, unfairly in my opinion, say that this watch hasn't quite figured out what it is trying to be. Is it Neo or vintage? It's Art Deco kind of, but not really. It has a hint of steampunk, but that doesn't really describe it either. It is unique, and I think it refuses to be pigeonholed into one genre or another. I love that. Um, it boldly refuses to follow in another's footsteps and truly lives up to its name, Timeless. That's probably what I love about it most, quite honestly. I think that you will find no other watches that I'm aware of that are similar. This is definitely not an homage that I'm aware of to anything, and I like that. The dial, of course, is also absolutely amazing. The open heart center with rotating logo as you set the time is just, I think uh, I've never seen that before. The unique date is awesome. The rose gold accents are incredible. The hands are very unique, as I mentioned before, and I think they just look fantastic. The uh, crown is one of my favorite of all time, that three part with the rose gold and the, the logo literally part of the structure of the crown. This is a watch that I love. And honestly, at some day, I would love to add this to my collection because I think it would be a worthy addition to any collection. Uh, accessibility and price. When it comes to accessibility, I like to think of that in terms of availability and affordability. So um, saving up for a watch can make it affordable. This one is a little on the higher side. It is 1,450 Swiss francs, which is around 1,673 US dollars. Uh, that is um, obviously more than, than some watches, but I will just say you do not get this in other watches. Uh, it is a unique, I think, uh, worthy addition to any collection, even at that price. Uh, brand offerings, if you want to check it out, you go to their website, which is timeless-watch.ch. 
you can check that out and, and uh, they've got a pretty cool website there and see some more nice pictures of it and, and that type of thing. Please like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. If there's anything that you'd like to ask a question about on this, feel free or any specific watches you'd like me to review in the future, in the future you can do that as well. Thank you so much. Hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and I'll talk to you later.